Hey guys, what's up? Today I want to talk to you about switching from King Root to Super Sue as a root manager. I have nothing against rooting with King Root. I think if your phone is able to be rooted with King Root, it's a great option. It's really simple. It's a one-click root tool. However, I don't like the King Root manager. And the reason I don't like it is this is very important for making money actually, is when you have VM Lite VNC server you will get a black screen when you connect to it from a, another device when you're rooted with King Root. I didn't know this at first, but every single device I had that was rooted with King Root had this issue until I switched to SuperSue as a root manager. So you can root with King Root, switch to SuperSue then afterwards as your root manager. I'm going to show you how to do that today with a simple app from the Google Play Store. So type in SuperSue Me on the Play Store. You'll find it as the first option. It's called Super Sue Me Pro. I'll leave a link in the description to download that. It's $4. I'm sorry about that, but it's definitely worth it. It's so simple to do. I've done it on about 11 devices so far that I've rooted with King Root. Things like the LG Optimus Zone 3, this RCA Voyager 2 tablet. It's Android. It's running Lollipop. And then I've done it on LG Volt. So a bunch of phones I've done this on. Also download the Super Sue Root Manager while you're at it from the Google Play Store. I'll have a link for that in the description. So once you get on the app, it's just a big blue button. You have to tap this to start. This is step one. It's actually going to use King Root's Root Manager and Root Access to put Super Sue on. So it's pretty cool. And once you grant it access through King Root to Super User Permissions, then you'll click OK for that. It's going to do some stuff, and then it's going to kill the app. Now, you may get an issue where a process has unfortunately stopped, and it will be King Root, and it may be popping up over and over again. See if you can get back into Super Sue Me. If it's so bad that you can't, you can reboot your device and retry it again. Just keep trying until you can actually get back to the Super Sue Me Pro app to go to step two. On step two, Super Sue is going to ask for root permission, and at that point, then you can hit grant, and it's going to do stuff for step two on this. And when that is finished, it's actually going to open Super Sue, and you're going to have to install the Super Sue binary. Once you click continue, make sure you click normal there, unless if you know what you're doing on the other option. Once it goes through the Super Sue installation for the binary, then it's going to ask you to reboot your device. Then hopefully you get to a success on this. It's also going to say it's detected another root manager, obviously, and it's going to ask if you want to install it. Click OK for that. Once it's done installing, just go ahead and reboot your device. King Root should be off your device and Super Sue, the manager, will remain. Now, if King Root's still on there, you can delete it, no problem, and you're good to go. Now, this can be unsafe. I read that. I've done it on 11 devices, though, with no issues. I, I read that it could boot it could brick your device, just be cautious and make sure you go slow during the process. But I'd totally recommend you get your phones off King Root and onto Super Sue. Number one for that VM Lite VNC server issue when it comes to remote access and just because I believe Super Sue is more reliable from my past experience. So anyway, I hope that was helpful for you guys and I'll talk to you guys later this week for more money making apps, money making websites and so forth. So in the meantime, have fun making money. Offers, a couple other stuff on the app. I'll have an, an archives listing for that here pretty shortly. Today, though, I just want to talk about with you how I've been earning with, uh, with inbox dollars. I've been earning pretty much $2 a day on the dollar.